Hi everybody and welcome to the latest in the What I'm Playing series. This week we are going with a budget build. So this one we have built, uh, we played on stream, so there's going to be a bonus video section for this one, but we only have one limited card in here and it's the hammer. Everything else is standard. They're all standard cards besides that. So let me run through the game plan here. Uh, we like to be on the draw with this one because we struggle with card draw just a touch. But we have our kind of our removal suite down here, Bloody Sickle from the People. T70 really plays a dual role. It can either be a nice guard unit on turn two, or it can be a pretty aggressive unit. Three power on for only two to deploy and one to operate is pretty strong. Um, we have a little bit of card draw on Convoy HX175, 84th Infantry Regiment pretty good card good anti-burn card and good at defending our top end here t-34s and the spitfires so our game plan is to blow up a couple of things drop some big tanks on the battlefield or a spitfire protect them with an 84th infantry regiment get the tempo of the game with naval power and uh kind of win we're playing pretty simple i think that's what really helps this deck is how simple it is do stuff to the opponent roll in with big tanks win the game this baluk regiment uh really good body three four for only three deploy and one to operate and the hq boost is actually real important we're running into a lot of burn lately a lot of burn running around out there naval power might be one of the best british cards there is especially at the standard level so i highly recommend crafting those up but that's just our budget deck for this week, and we're just calling it Budget 3. No crazy names this week. Just playing it straight, playing it simple. Don't know how this is going to go. Um, you know, if we run into some big deal decks, we might not do as well. But if you're playing just uh, kind of regular, playing a couple of games uh, every week, this one's pretty well-tuned to deal with a lot of things, but also has some exciting stuff here that's fun to play up at the top of the line. So if you like our content, please consider supporting it on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash cards podcast or dropping by for a stream. That's twitch.tv slash cards podcast and becoming a subscriber there. But if you just like and share all of our content, that's very helpful as well. So let's try our budget deck this week on uh, what I'm playing. All right. So our first that we're up against here is Merrick, and we're on the draw, so that's good. Um, they're playing Tripoli, so we'll hang on to our hammer, throw the Spitfire back, throw the T-34 back, I think we'll throw the Baluk back as well, see what we get for it. All right, so we have a little bit of card draw. Uh, our big boy here, he's good at drawing cards. We have some early interaction. Yeah, I mean, this is all we want to do. Like I said, this is a very simple deck. Interact with your opponent a little bit, play solid tanks, and see how we do. So let's see how we get going in this first one here. So Merrick's up first. Let's say hello. And good luck to Merrick. Or Marek. Or Kuram, if you read it backwards. All right, so what's our opponent up to over there? Maybe they're having a little bit of a connection issue. Okay, so we're just here waiting on Merrick. They, we haven't even seen them like shuffle through their cards at all either, so uh, might be a little bit of a rough one out of the gate here. So Merrick, come on. Merrick, what are you working on over there? Merrick! <laughs> Try and poke him again. Got the, the, got the clock running too. That would be disappointing if uh, we just had to sit here for a little while. and Alright, so... Okay, now they come to life and they don't get a chance to do anything, so... Well, Merrick had to skip their first turn, but it looks like they're back at the at the keyboard. Alright, well, we can wait just as well as anybody else, and since, this, since we got the recorder going, you know, we'll just 
post this one up and uh, people can know when they see this person on the battlefield that you're going to just have to be very patient. We're happy to wait though. We got other stuff going on in the background. We just recorded the podcast, so that has to export anyway, so we got to keep an eye on that. All right, and now America's up and playing. You know, they kind of moved around there just to take out the timer. So let's see uh, if they continue to fool around. We'll take out their 22nd, and we'll play our T-70. Get a threat out there. Nice two for one for us. So if they're going to play the clock game, we can play just as well. And just a little disappointing that uh, there's players who employ this kind of strategy in the game. But, you know, I've played enough online games to know that there's always going to be um, challenging opponents. And not challenging in the good, like making you better at the game way, they're going to be challenging in uh, your patience kind of way. And now, you know, we're just going to get our recording done and, and show people what kind of player this is, and, you know, they're going to have to deal with the fallout of that. So, let's take out another one of their units. That's a special and elite unit that we've chewed through thus far. We'll move our T-70 to the front line, see if they have anything else going on. So we're just going to be patient and uh, wait out our opponent here. You know, this kind of shows how good the T-70 can be. It can play that dual role of an early guard unit. That two defense is a little rough, but it can be either early guard unit or a solid early threat. I mean, we got three power in the front line on turn three. That's pretty good. And plus we played two removal orders already too. So we've, we were in a pretty happy with our spot right here. You know, and then they play a wolf pack, right? You know, if, if that's the way they want to play the game, you know, be challenging on the clock and then also play discard orders. You know, we're, we're willing to um, record and get our match in, and then we'll move on with our lives. You know, just going to have to wait it out. So we're here again, and uh, I mean, we have plenty of stuff to combat discard, though. A couple of T-34-85s. They're actually a really beefy body that uh, makes, uh, you know, it very difficult for the opponent to get it off the battlefield without giving us back some more uh, good stuff into our hand. And a naval bombardment for our opponent, so that's fine. Alright, so we draw a naval power. Let's get a T-34 out there. So, T-34 can be very difficult for most opponents to deal with. Germany doesn't have... I mean, we haven't seen... Well, I guess if they're playing the Americans, we did see a, what was that, a naval bombardment earlier. So, you know, they do have Death from Above, which is a very good anti-T-34-85 card. But, you know, looks like Merrick's going to wait, make us wait to see if uh, he has it or not. He or she, or she, or they, or whatever they prefer. So... All right, a Volk's Grenadier and an Eagle's Claws. Okay. All right, well, we're going to put the... Should we put it back in their hand, or should we blow it up? I think we're going to put the Volk's Grenadier back in their hand and move our T-34 forward. Sorry about that. Sorry about the hitting the mic there. So we'll try and hold on to our other T-34, but Germany and USA don't tend to have guard units, so I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. All right, Volk's Grenadier making a reappearance here. 
in, you know, the, you notice how the gameplay sped up just a touch. Alright, so let's get an attack in at the opposing HQ. Get another T-34 on the battlefield. You know, big body that draws cards. Force our opponent to uh, deal with that. We also have a very fast clock since we already got down them down to 12. So, see what else our opponent has here. We've gotten through a lot of their very good units. Stug and a mobilization for our opponent. Okay. Alright, we get a from the people. So, let's get some attacks in here. And let's take out the Stug with our from the people. Pass turn back, so now they really have to make some moves on our T-34s, representing lethal threats. Plus, we have extra T-34s in hand that can end the game in a hurry. So, a good good start for our deck here. You know, kind of the ideal start, really. Alright, a Panzer 2A for our opponent. They throw it away into one of our T-34s. They attack the other T-34. Another Volks Grenadier, M7 Priest, and the enemy surrenders. So, an early win here for our budget build, and kind of, you know, a challenging uh, first game, but, you know, a win's a win. We'll take our first win of the day. So, good win there by our budget deck. Okay, so back in action here with our budget deck. We're up against Hustler 1, so good luck to them. Um, early interactive two-way unit for us and a draw order. We'll throw the T-34 back. We don't necessarily need it to start. Okay, a little more interaction. We'll take it. Um, we like to, we got a little lucky we got a convoy here because we're on the play first, and that's not necessarily the best thing for us. And our opponent getting a lightning fast hand here. All right, well, let's get our T30 or T70 out there, and I can chew through these early um, attackers. All right, a bloody sickle. All right, not as not as helpful. All right, another bloody sickle. Very aggressive start here by our opponent, and we are we are not as fast as some other decks. Plus, a uh, early draw order for them. So let's take care of their draw source. But if we see a Blitzkrieg early on here, we are going to be in trouble. So, very fast start by Hustler 1. They might have had, like, uh, one of the best draws you can have with uh, the deck they're playing. Which we, I mean, this is another uh, option I thought about for um, budget builds. So we'll try again win the future with this one, but we're, we're up against it here. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's send um, uh, SD back to their hand. Whew, we're in trouble though. We really need another. We need like running T70s here or something like that. Oh, I heard from the north too, so yep, yeah, we're in trouble here. All right, and a KD as well. We don't have enough, you know, blanket removal here, plus the fast hinds for our opponent, so well-named card for them. Yeah, we're, we're, we're way, way, way behind here. All right, 84th Infantry keeps us relatively in it. I mean, not really, but... You know, I would imagine the Panzer's going to move forward here. Plus, we're going to get pasted by this Katie. All right, and a four Pioneer Battalion. Yeah, we, the writing is on the roll. Uh, writing is on the wall for this one. We are not fast enough to deal with this. Oh well, well, for as slow as our first game was, the second one was that fast. So tough, tough second matchup there. All right, so well, I don't really like that name, but um, this could be our third one with our budget build this week, and uh, 
we had a a tough one in the first one and a tough one in the second one so hopefully we have a just a, a solid game here for our third one with uh, our budget bill all right m8 greyhound for our opponent um let's draw first all right, and a T70. That's great. Let's get our T70 down. Let's just hold on to our from the people. Because I have to imagine they're going to be... Okay, so they're going to play the War Machine, so they're ramping it up. Um, hmm. In this case, I think we're going to get some attacking in with this T70. Make them run this Greyhound through it. We have some good uh, defense coming along the way. Ooh, and multiple good, you know, our opponent already up to six on the curve, which is very good for them. So they only have four cards in hand, though. So let's go with uh, Convoy here and get some draw going. All right, double Bloody Sickle is helpful, actually. Because we've got to imagine there's bombers on the way, and we do not like bombers. If we get behind on um, big bombers out there, we can be in trouble. All right, Corsair is not as harmful as maybe some other plays there would be. So I think what we're going to do is put the Corsair back in their hand for now and try and get our T get closer to our T-34s. All right, Corsair again. And a Greyhound to go along with it. All right, so we can make that Corsair stronger, I would guess. We can take out the Greyhound, though. Corsair's tough. Any any big plane is tough for us. We're not really built to play against big planes without T-34 support. All right, the Hammers, okay, we'll take that. I, I have a feeling it might be kind of a dead card for us, though. So let's get rid of the Greyhound and get in... Get an 84th Infantry Regiment down. Alright, opponent thinking it over. They're already up to 8, though, so... Okay, Wildcat. We can deal with a Wildcat. Eventually. Alright, another Wildcat. Okay. Alright, they attack with the Corsair. Okay. Hmm. Alright, well, I think we just get a little bit of a shell going here with our... 84ths, get a little bit of HQ help. These but look, if we can get the if we can get the regiment up there and start attacking um, wildcats, that'll be great. So we're just kind of delay tactics right now. Hopefully we do not see a B17 or really any bomber for our opponent. Hopefully they're on the fighter game plan instead of the bomber game plan. All right, so it looks like we're going to go be down an 84th here. But we'll see. All right, so coming in for an attack, coming in for another attack, coming in for a third attack. Okay. All right, so here I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with another 84th, and we're going to move this Baluk forward. We're also going to move this damaged 84th forward. And I think we're going to drop another 84th out there. You save the card draw for a little bit later on. Again, hopefully they're on the fighter game plan instead of the... Okay, so they do have bombers. And the Mitchell hits one of our 84ths. All right, let me trade an 84th here. All right, get more damage on, on the Corsair. Okay, well, let's go with the T-34 plan. Take out the bomber. I think we're going to ping one of our own 84ths just to get a card draw. All right, we get a from the people, which is helpful. All right, so this T-34 can take out anything our opponent has in an attack, but they have the hammer. Okay, good play by our opponent, but we can also take out a couple of their things here. All right, a P-51. Okay, well... We have a T-34 that can rumble with a P-51. We trade, but we'll take it. All right, and then we're going to leave our 84th there. We've run our opponent almost up. Well, not really. But we also have almost negated their um, credit advantage over us. 
We can take out their Greyhound. Alright, then we can drop our T-34. And I think we draw at this point. Spitfire is helpful. Naval power is helpful. Alright, so let's go with a naval power on the stronger Wildcat. Just because I'm afraid of like some shenanigans with maybe uh, we we can do it or something like that. Okay, a from, they do have a from the people. Alright, so we get our own from the people though, so that's helpful. Let's get that from the people of our own out there. And let's get a Spitfire out there, and let's go with a Baluk Regiment out there. Now we have some some threats, but we're down, we're, we need, okay, hopefully that hits our Baluk, uh, hit our Spitfire, that's unfortunate. Alright, and a P-51, jeez, hits just keep on coming for our opponent. Alright, well we have to hit the P-51. Because now that makes our Baluk uh, deadly to either one. They have a death from above, though. So, looks like we're just going to run out of gas here. We could really use another T-34, 1941. All right, so we get T-34, 85. So, I think we might be just a little too far behind now to make a difference here. Yep, yep. Well, T-70 will keep us in it. Alright, depending on what our opponent has. If our opponent has removal order here, then we're cooked. If they don't, we have a chance. Alright, so they have Corsair and a critical hit. Alright, so we get to draw a card at least. And a T-34 is good. Two T-34s is great. Um, can we take out what we need to take out here, though? Okay, I think we gotta, even though it's a trade with the P-51, we do have to do it. Because now our T-70 buys us an extra turn. And it gets some damage in on the Corsair. Oh, a Liberator. Oh, shoot. Well, a Spitfire will keep us in it. Well, no, it doesn't really, does it? Because we have to attack the Corsair. Oh, looks like we're going to come up just short here. All right, the Corsair won it for him. Good plays by our opponent, and they have heavy armor on that, so made a little, little bit of a punt there at the end. But we couldn't, we too many, too many bodies for us, and this, this uh, hammer ended up being kind of a dead card since they're on the all planes game plan. But good job by our opponent; they played really well. We did make a nice little rally there, but came up just short. Um, we'll jump right into the. Um, deck tech about this one. There is a lot more gameplay with this deck in um, the other video. I have it set up that should jump right to the gameplay for that. But I think you can see, you know, this one is competitive. It's not, it's kind of 50-50. If our opponent gets up into the, that 12 credit range right away, they're usually going to take care of us. Also, if our opponent's running tons of specials and elites, I mean, we are running just standards and a couple and three limited cards so you know this is a pretty good it feels competitive though it feels like we're not getting blown away even though we're only playing specials and just a few limiteds so i think there's a lot of game i think this deck does have some game it might benefit from maybe a touch more card draw um but, I mean, your mileage may vary. Give this one a try, though, especially if you're a newer player and you have a lot of these specials and limiteds built. I think this one's pretty good. I think there's some play to this one. Um, we went one and two in these videos, but we uh, do pretty well in the stream videos. And... Um, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a good deck. I don't think it's like a crazy world beater. I mean, it would be improved by elites and specials for sure. But you know, I think you can't ask much more from a limit or from a, from a budget deck than give, than keeping you in the game and making you competitive. I mean, we almost rallied there in game three. We almost got there. So 
Um, that's our budget build for this week. We'll do more budget builds in the future, but I like this one. I like it a lot. It, it has some really fun tanks. It's got the Spitfires. It's got some good removal orders. I mean, you're just trying to just play the game in like its most pure form. Like you're just trying to interact with your opponent a little bit and then have some big tanks to put them in tough spots and some really big planes too. Spitfire is actually pretty good, I think. Um, so that's our budget build for this week. But uh, if you like our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon, patreon.com slash cards podcast. And also uh, stop by for your stream, twitch.tv slash cards podcast. Those are Mondays at 630 uh, p.m. on the East Coast time here in the USA. And uh, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate the support of everybody in the community. And uh, we will be back with another one next week for what I'm playing. Thanks.